pillow today I am going to show you how to create this nice looking electro wallpaper uh, it was quite simple uh, to make and uh, so yeah to start off go to file new and make like 1280 by 720 but uh, if you want you can uh, put any other set uh, sizes by yourself and uh, go ahead and click ok now choose paint bucket tool click on your background to make it black add a new layer rename it to rectangles uh, because we are, we are going to make these uh, like rectangles on the background uh, so take around the rectangle tool and of course uh, uh, color doesn't matter because we will be recoloring the all uh, around the rectangles so choose uh, different instead of background color uh, so I drive a nice rounded rectangle then take magic one tool click on it click on your rounded rectangle then take move selected pixels tool hold control and uh, make sure you you are holding control and uh, click down arrow uh, click more times to get into this position then choose magic one tool click go back to this uh, tool and same thing hold control and, and by holding it uh, move the rectangle and same thing the next time and uh, when you have like four of these uh, choose magic one tool hold control click on the other rectangles so when once you have your rectangle selected go back to move selected pixels tool and uh, hold control and keep clicking right arrow until you have some space like here so repeat that magic wand this and uh, keep moving magic wand this control keep moving and do until the paper sheet is uh, full or something after that they select and once you have your uh, rectangles uh, choose magic one tool Ho uh, hold control or change selection mode to add and just uh, I don't know select something like this something like that and uh, just select that you want to delete and once you have your uh, selections you hit delete on a keyword so you will have something like this now uh, choose uh, like white color paint somewhere and after that choose bla blue color paint somewhere else and uh, repeat that and choose pink color same thing and uh, once you have your colors, once you have your uh, thing done, uh, we can make a reflection. So duplicate that layer and uh, go to this layer properties and change opacity to like about 102 or something and uh, click OK now choose gradient tool transparency mode and click and hold left shift and drag from bottom to like about top or something uh, hit enter on, on your keyboard layers flip vertical and image uh, sorry layers rotate zoom 
So on this dialog box we are going to be focusing on this thing right here. So uh, enter twist angle 19, 90, sorry, twist radius 72 or something about that. And on pan tool, uh, on, the, on this one, uh, click the top arrow or thing to move it down below the uh, original one and you of course can uh, use a zooming level so let's make it a little bigger and once you have on and click ok so uh, now we are going to do like emboss or something uh, bevel thing so on the rectangles the original not the re reflection layer but on the original, go to this layer and uh, choose magic one tool, change selection mode to add and uh, hold left shift and click on blue, white and pink uh, rectangles. So you have selected the whole thing except the background and uh, go to effects, selection, bevel selection Make it def one. Uh, that's that. That will be enough. But if you want, you can play around, and uh, yeah. But one, it's enough for this. So to select right here, and you can merge this layer down. If you want, if you want to, or you can rename to like reflection of rectangles or something. But I'll, I will merge this layer down, the top one I said, sorry. And uh, go to effects, uh, object align, center horizontally. And uh, now we are going to create uh, this text right here. Uh, later on we are going to focus on uh, the glow or something behind uh, the text. Um, so yeah, now create a new layer, Re you can rename this to like text or something. So once you have your layer, choose text tool, radio stars font or any other if, if you want, any size and uh, any color because uh, we will make a gradient so your color doesn't matter matter so just write something and uh, position it choose magic one tool hold left shift and click on any letter so your letters will be selected swap colors so make sure your pr your primary color is white and your secondary like this light blue that you he that you have been using on the rectangles so right click on to choose the secondary color and uh, choose gradient tool change uh, the color mode and drive your gradient uh, hold left shift of course so once you have your text, deselect, go to effects, object, drop shadow, choose like within the radius 1, blur radius 1, and uh, color black. So yeah, click OK. And uh, uh, let's create a reflection of that text also. So duplicate that layer. Uh, sorry. Uh, go to layer properties and change uh, opacity to 102 or whatever if you want to change it. Go to layers, uh, flip vertical and uh, use uh, gradient. Uh, make sure you are on black and white mode and uh, choose transparent mode and uh, make something like that and uh, 
move below the original text. You can use arrow keys uh, to move, of course. So, uh, the select and go to layers, rotate zoom, and of course, uh, reset, reset if you need to, but leave this uh, roll rotate options as uh, it is uh, and uh, change the pen if you need to. And of course, uh, zoom also if you need to. And uh, go ahead and click OK. And uh, merge this layer down. And uh, you can move it around with move selected pixels tool. And uh, the select. Um, I'm going to create another word. Uh, so, yeah. Create a new layer. Rename it to whatever you like. And uh, let's make our text. Make it like about the middle. Uh, we will move the text later. So make a gradient of course. Right click to select the secondary color. Of course, uh, we need selection and then gradient tool with color mode. Hold left shift, of course. The select, repeat drop shadow, duplicate, layers, uh, flip vertical. Um, Opacity 102, move it below text, deselect, and of course uh, gradient, transparency mode, and uh, make a gradient, make a reflection uh, transparency thing, and of course uh, Go to layers, rotate zoom. So once you have your uh, text, uh, merge this layer down and you can move it also somewhere you need. And the select, of course. Okay, uh, we almost finished. Um, okay, let's start making uh, some glow things uh, below, uh, underneath the rectangles. So go to rectangles, rectangles layer, duplicate it, and move it, move it down. Of course, uh, go to effects, blurs, Gaussian blur, put uh, like 125, this is my uh, setting, of course wait till it renders out. Uh, if you want you can, uh, like I did in this picture, as you can see this is uh, like one color below the rectangles. Uh, so go to effects, color, color tint, and choose that color if you want to. And on the original rectangles layer, go to effects, uh, photo glow, click OK. And same, things, same thing on the text layers, go to the text layer, effects, repeat glow, and on the uh, on the other text layer, effects, repeat glow. And I think it's kinda it. So, yeah. This is the final result. I, ho I hope you liked this. So, please comment, read, and subscribe. 
and uh, you can post your final results in f in Facebook group. And I see you next.